Hmm. So when it comes to Uber, which one do you prefer, food or people? And I know I'm not talking about this granola. Let's take that out the equation. Uber Eats is better than Uber X. Yeah, I said it. And if you think that's bad or controversial, you want to stick around and figure out why I say that. Sup everyone, this is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy, and in this video, I'm going to entertain a scenario that probably every single Uber driver has thought of at some point. Is UberX better than Uber Eats or is it vice versa? Now, me personally, I say Uber Eats is better. I make a little more money with UberX, but there are five reasons that when I put my phone on my phone mount, pull up the Uber app, these five reasons just make me put it on deliveries only. So without further ado, let's get into it. Coming in at number one is Eats is overall just easier on your vehicle. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm the kind of person that really takes pride in like having nice seats and just everything look as if I just drove off the car lot. And, um, you know, that starts to de deteriorate the more you do a ride share because more people are sitting on your seats. And this is something we don't often think about, but unless you have family or like every single day your friends are going out on the town and they're riding your vehicle, your seats kind of actually remain new for the most part, even years after you've gotten the vehicle. Now, if they're constantly in use, then just by default, they're going to start getting wearing, just get worn down a little. And uh, if you're like me, you kind of see your car as an extension of yourself. So when you see that, it's like, oh, it kind of hurts my heart that these seats are just kind of losing their value based on them actually being used. Overall, I also drive less mileage when I do Eats tent usually. I mean, I've compared the days where I do Uber X only and Uber Eats only in my Stride app, and I drive a considerably less mileage on Eats only days. So that's something I always took into consideration. And that's why it makes my number one reason, when I say one, I mean in order, but number one, as far as why I say Eats is better than Uber X. Number two, Uber Eats is just more predictable. I mean, I've never had a situation where someone ordered McDonald's 30 miles away from some random city. I mean, that's just, not going to happen for obvious reasons but even just on top of that general reason the restaurants on uber eats they're all kind of uh, predictable some give you i categorize them as short medium long trips so restaurants tend to give you the same amount of distance so if you know a particular restaurant is going to go it can go four miles or six miles versus this one tends to go two three miles you can kind of decide if you want to take it or not and this really makes it easy to plan your day if you do have other things going on aside from uh, driving. I mean, a personal example is I had an appointment that I had to make in an hour one time and I, I was Ubering, but I decided to switch to deliveries because I didn't want to just stop, you know, getting money so I can make the appointment. When it's time to head to the appointment, I just head over there. Just want to keep making money until I do so. I switched over to deliveries, got a delivery, took like a 30 35 minutes, uh, completed the delivery. It kept me in the general area. Then it was time to head to the appointment. See, I couldn't have done that with a, with UberX because there's a chance that they're going around the corner, but it's also a chance that they're going to another state. And I do mean that kind of literally. So you're kind of, kind of hitting the lottery as far as that's concerned. And I do like the predictable. So that hits the number two reason UberX is just more predictable. Number three, and it's probably my personal favorite, but it's just me and the food in the car. Now, when you're doing UberX, you're going to encounter a variety of personalities. Some people will want to chat. Some people will be more introverted. But, you know, regardless, there is someone in the car and you want to abstain from doing anything that's going to upset them because of, you don't want to get rated down or get reported or anything like that. And there's there small things that can upset them like. Let's say if you like this type of music and they don't like it, well, if they ask you to change it and then you don't, well, they're probably going to rate you down. That uh, d social dynamic isn't really in the car when it's just food. Now, I, I actually like talking to people, but I also like my music. So if it's just me and the food in the car, regardless of what customers deem likable or not, I can listen to whatever the heck I want, which is a huge bonus. But the uh, biggest thing I love about just having me and the food in the car is... I'm actually free to listen to uh, audiobooks. So one thing I'm uh, pretty uh, big on is actually investing in the stock market. And I literally gain 
a lot of knowledge that gave me the foundation to do this just from driving from Uber Eats. I would listen to our audiobooks and YouTube videos on how to invest in dividend stocks, growth stocks, and over the course of three or four months, I gained enough information to actually start investing. And even now, I'll listen to uh, earnings calls while I'm doing Uber Eats, so it's like I'm getting uh, Uber Eats is paying for my education. <laughs> Not in a tuition way, but yeah, that's one thing that I really love. And if you tried to do that scenario when someone's in the car, I don't know if y'all have seen that night school movie, but there's a Lyft driver in there and he's on the phone while doing a trip and the customer's threatening him, talking about, I'm going to give you a one star. <laughs> so you wouldn't have that dynamic going on. You could just soak up the information and uh, be making money in the process, which is awesome. Number four, I'm actually available to talk. Now, if someone was in the backseat of my car while I'm Uber Xing, well, I would be that. I'd literally be that driver in that night school movie where he's threatening me with a one star because I'm on the phone, maybe even getting reported. But if it's just me and the food in the car, I can talk to whoever, whenever I want. And that's a big plus because a lot of times people would call me when I'm Ubering. Like they wouldn't call me when I'm sitting at home, maybe watching Netflix, but they would call me when I'm Ubering, which is crazy within itself. But I would always have to decline the call because I couldn't talk then, I would be doing UberX. But with Eats, you know, I can take the call and if I wanted to, I could talk to him for an hour or two. I have a friend that also does Uber Eats and we talk about all kinds of stuff, usually like for whole shifts, like doing the lunch shift or doing the dinner shift, etc. And it really makes it easier to actually talk to people on their schedule. Because I do have like family members I want to talk to on a regular basis, but our schedules would always be bumping heads. They wouldn't be free to talk to up in the day because they'd be at work and that's when I was free. And when they get off of work, well, I'm Ubering, so, you know, we couldn't talk. But if I'm doing Uber Eats, hey, there's nothing stopping me from talking, so, you know, we can catch up. And finally, number five, it is better for you physically. Now, on days where I do nothing but UberX, oh gosh, I feel it. I remember the, it was like I had been doing UberX for three weeks, I was relatively new. And I had my first full-time day. Up to that point, I was just doing a more of a part-time thing. But I had my first full-time day. And when I got back home and I got out of the car, oh, my gosh. It was like a big ouch. My lower back was screaming at me like, oh, my gosh. The reason being because I just got out of that spot that I've been sitting in, in that position, literally for hours. And that would happen every time I had a full-time day on uh, UberX. Now, keep in mind that this can be mitigated if you do, you know, get out the car every hour or two and stretch. But uh, with Uber Eats, it's kind of integrated into what you're already doing. You're not going to be sitting in the same spot, you know, for hours at a time. You have to get up, go get the food at the restaurant. And in a lot of cases, you got to get out and uh, deliver the food to the customer. So all this, it keeps you moving and it, it actually can be a, a little form of exercise for some people if you look at it that way. But the very minimum is keeping you moving so you're not just in one spot all day. So I would get home after a full day of Uber Eats and uh, it, it would have been it would be just like normal. It didn't even feel like I Ubered that day because I was always getting up, going to restaurants, going to customers' doors. So it really stopped that whole lower back thing from even happening. And on the plus side, it is more movement versus UberX. You will be sitting in the same spot all day for the most part. So, you know, if you are eating a bunch of fast food or whatever it may be, it's actually pretty easy to gain a few pounds. But with a Uber Eats, you are at least walking some of that off. So, those are my five reasons on why I prefer Uber Eats over UberX. This does not make me anti UberX by any means. It's just these reasons sway me a little closer to the eat side. But I'd love to hear your comments below. Have you tried Uber Eats before? If so, what was your experience like? Do you personally prefer UberX over Eats? Or does Eats have just a few more things going for it that you prefer Eats? We'd love to hear it below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below or shoot us an email. We publish new content every single week. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And if you found value in the video, please give us a like. This is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy. Safe and profitable driving, everyone. Signing off.